According to the most recent round of polling and polling for the last several months, if not the last year, Democrats are trusted more on the issues than Republicans. Even on things like immigration and foreign policy, the public says, I trust the Democrats to handle this more than I trust the Republicans. When you get to issues that hit the pocketbooks, healthcare spending, you know, economy in general, that's the Democrats that people trust on those issues. Environment, way, way in the Democrats' favor. And the reason I bring that up is because as we approach this Iowa caucus here, and with all of the infighting happening with the, uh, uh, the Democratic candidates right now, Bernie versus Warren, Biden out there versus reality, we have to remain focused on the policies. Republicans have no policy to run on. And that's where you hit them. I know Trump's out there saying stupid things on Twitter, saying stupid things in his rally, and it's fun to laugh at those, but we can't make the mistakes of 2016 and try to campaign on those stupid statements that he makes about dishwashers not having enough water anymore. We have to focus on policy, but it isn't just with Trump, by the way. We have Republicans in the Senate right now, some of whom have been in there for 30 years who are facing very tough re-elections this year, Lindsey Graham, Mitch McConnell. And if the candidates running against these guys want to beat them, you beat them on policy. And here's a good one to start with. Right now, there is a bill that's been dying in the Senate for weeks upon weeks that would lower prescription drug costs here in the United States. Massive problem, affects nearly everybody in this country, the cost of prescription drugs. The vast majority of people in this country say that that is a very real problem for them. Huge percentages have said that they have had to go without prescription drugs because they simply couldn't afford them. So here we have this bill sitting on Mitch McConnell's desk that he won't even bring up for a debate because the Democrats passed it in the House and he doesn't want to be seen as working with the Democrats. But at the same time, he knows that this is an important issue. He knows that people in his home state of Kentucky or for Lindsey Graham, South Carolina, they know that people are suffering because they're not taking action on this. And that is where the Democrats need to strike. There are plenty of awful, horrible things, all true, that you can say about Mitch McConnell, Lindsey Graham, and even Donald Trump, but you can't uh, campaign on those. That's not how you win an election. You win it by going to the public and saying, this guy here refused to lower your prescription drug prices. He says maybe he has a better plan, but he won't tell us what it is. He's lying to you about that because he's taken X amount of dollars from the pharmaceutical industry. There's your talking points. You fill in the X with whoever it is you're running against. Go to opensecrets.org and look up that information. It's all right there ready for you. I just wrote your entire campaign and not just for the people running against uh, McConnell or Graham, the people running against every Republican who is voting against this legislation. Go and talk to the people living next to these uh, facilities, these corporations, dumping toxic waste in the nearby waterways. And tell them about all the times Republicans voted to deregulate these industries. All the times Republicans voted against cleaning up these Superfund sites. Use their policies or lack thereof against them. That is going to win you 2020. The public already trusts you more to handle these issues. Run on that. Everybody knows Trump is a horrible human being. Same thing with Mitch McConnell and Lindsey Graham and Jim Inhofe and all of the others. They know that. They don't need to be told that again before the election because they remember that. What they may not remember is all of the times these same Republican scumbags voted to personally and financially harm their own constituents. You want to win in 2020? Run on that.